Hey there YouTube, this is Ben from beemotion.design and I recently discovered a shortcut that I now use all the time in my day-to-day -day work and I want to share it with you. It's called Center Anchor Point to Layer Content. So this is a shortcut that's been around since Adobe created the Creative Cloud versions, but I didn't, had no clue that it existed until recently. So I stumbled upon this on accident, um, and when I did some Googling and some digging, uh, I actually found this article on uh, Adobe's Creative Cloud blog uh, talking about the creation of this shortcut. And uh, so it's been around since After Effects version 12.1, which I'm pretty sure is the first creative cloud version. Um, so the date of this uh, blog post is August 14th, 2015. So that just goes to show you how long it's been around. I mean, we're uh, what, about a little over two years now. So two and a half years. Uh, and I figured if I've been using After Effects for the last decade and didn't know about it until recently, then I'm sure there are probably a bunch of other users who probably don't know that it even exists. So here, let's get into it right now. Okay, so when you're drawing shapes, as I have a bunch of shapes right here, um, let's get the shape tool and we draw a shape. There we go. Okay, and um, <clears throat> as you draw the shape, you notice that the anchor point is right in the center of the composition. So that happens. Um, that's probably the one thing that all of these layers have in common is they all have the same uh, anchor point. They all have the same anchor point, which is in the center of the composition. But if you go into, if you try to start rotating things, it's going to rotate around the anchor point, which again is the center of the composition. And that might not be what you want. Maybe you want to rotate it in the center of the actual shape itself. And um, so one of the ways is, you know, to get, grab the pan behind tool and you can grab the anchor point and you can, you know, kind of approximate it in the center of the shape, or you can hold down, uh, the command, uh, on Mac and control on PC, and you can snap it to the center. You could also snap it to, uh, other points, uh, on the shape itself. Um, but one of the quickest things that you can do is there's actually a couple ways to do this. There's uh, you can go up to the layer menu, you can go to transform and you can go to center anchor point in layer content, and it'll snap it directly to the center of that particular um, shape that you have uh, drawn. And that's the, you know, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, let's undo that. Uh, another way of doing it is holding on Mac, hold down the command key, on PC, hold down the control key and double click on the pan behind uh, tool in the toolbar and it'll snap to the center of the shape. Uh, and it will do this for any of the other, any shape. It will do this for any layer actually. But there's also a shortcut, uh, a keyboard shortcut. On Mac, it's Command Option Home and on PC, it would be what's that? Control Alt Home. And so that works as well, too. It also happens with masks as well, too. If you've got, um, I've got all these masks, uh, the, they're actually all solids, uh, but I've drawn masks on them and they all have the same uh, center point as well, too, which is in the center of the composition. And again, just uh, select the layer and hold down command and double click and boom, right there, right in the center of that shape. It also works for other layers as well, too. So let's say I have this logo right here and because um, this is something that I've been doing a lot recently. I've been doing a lot of um, <clears throat> iPhone animations. And so I'll usually get the artwork in Illustrator form. And so I'm animating icons and stuff like that. And so if I want to grab a specific part of uh, that particular piece of artwork, so in this particular case, I'll... Uh, <clears throat> I'll draw a mask around, let's say, here. Okay, well, that's great. That's all fine and dandy. <clears throat> but now the anchor point is right there. Well, I want the anchor point to be in the center of... Actually, let's even this out just a little bit more. So it's a little bit more of a even thing. So I want the center point to be right there. So again... Uh, make sure the layer is selected, hold down command and double click, and it snaps it right there, right into the center of that 
uh, shape. And so now anytime I do any rotations or anything like that, it's all uh, rotated around the center of the composition. Again, I can hold down the command key, select the pan behind tool and snap it into all these various different other points. And that's also great as well too. And um, oh, let me go back to uh, let me go back to the shape layer. So look at this. Watch this. So uh, let's select the star layer here. <clears throat> so look, I can snap it to the various different points of the star as well too. So <clears throat> it's really it really is great. But I the thing I wanted to share the most was the snapping to the center of that particular shape because. Again, I am find myself using it constantly in my day-to-day -day workflow. So um, it's called the Center Anchor Point in Layer Content, and uh, it's great. You should check it out. Uh, I sometimes use the key command, but I generally just hold down the uh, command key and, and double-click on that pan behind tool. But um, <clears throat> I hope that helps, and I hope that this is something that um, you will now use in your day-to-day -day workflow. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Put some comments in the uh, comments below. Let me know uh, if there's anything in particular that you want to see uh, regarding After Effects. Um, anything you don't understand, I can always make a video about it. Um, also, too, hit the subscribe button um, because I'm going to be releasing content uh, regularly. So uh, stay tuned uh, for more great content. Uh, this is Ben for BEMotion.Design. Thanks. Bye.